Today I'm making cheesy chile verde potato cakes. They're crispy on the outside, soft and gooey in the middle. And I like to use russet potatoes for this recipe, but if you don't have access to them for some reason, which I don't know, let me know in the comments, <laughs> you can use your instant mashed potatoes or some leftover mashed potatoes. I peeled my potatoes and soaked them in some water to keep them nice and clean. And I'm just gonna dice them. That way when we boil them, they cook a lot faster. And once you chop your potatoes, you're gonna place them into a pot of boiling water. Please be careful, don't burn yourself. And you're gonna continue to cook until they're nice and soft. That should take you 12 to 15 minutes. And if you wanna get this recipe done even faster, place all your potatoes into your Instant Pot and pressure cook for eight minutes. Once you strain your potatoes, you're gonna to wanna to season them with some salt, black pepper, and some garlic powder. And then you're gonna start mashing your potatoes. Once you mash your potatoes, you're gonna add two cups of chicken, about two cups of cheese, and some chives. If you don't have chives, you can use regular green onions. And you're gonna give everything a loving mix. So once you mix your mixture with all your seasonings, you're gonna add your canned green chili and another loving mix. I like to make my potato cakes like a hockey puck because I have hearty eaters, but you can make them a lot thinner and smaller if you'd like. So once you shape up your potato cakes, you're gonna go ahead and place them into your egg wash. And they do get really, really soft, so you wanna have something to help you flip it over. Place it into your panko crumbs, and then you're gonna coat. Go ahead and set this to the side and continue with your remaining potato cakes. Now if you want it super, super cheesy, you can make a little cubby like this. You're gonna sprinkle in your cheese. Then you're gonna start to seal it completely. Once you coat your potato cakes for the first time, you're gonna coat them one more time to avoid them busting open. That's the last thing you want to happen when you're making these potato cakes. So if you used panko crumbs, coat them again in panko crumbs. And if you use breadcrumbs, go ahead and coat them again in breadcrumbs. Once your oil is hot enough, you're gonna start frying your potato cakes. And what I like to do, I fry them for about a minute and a half to two on each side or until they're nice and golden. And once you get them to your desired goldenness, you're gonna to wanna to take them out. And like I mentioned, you wanna double coat these because you can already see we double coated, but that cheese wants to come out and get in your mouth. <laughs> when I showed you guys how to make potato cakes, the most asked question was not how hot is your oil, is what is that dipping sauce? And for that video, I used sour cream and a little bit of water. You're gonna mix it until everything is well combined and you're ready to start dipping. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, uh... As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. Let us know in the comments how you like to make your potato cakes. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adiós. La noche aquella pasada cuando me puse a tomar tu labio rojo de sada, los que no pude olvidar, ese día no asimilaba de lo que me iba a pasar, ese día
I really do like using the Instant Pot a lot better than stove top because you're guaranteed all of them to be soft and sometimes when you boil them, you know you're pushing really, really hard and there's that hard potato that embarrasses you in front of everybody. But if you have an Instant Pot, you're gonna love it. What embarrasses me is not even making it to the potato cakes is eating that. <laughs> so good.